you can group multiple assets together and treat them as one token with prefabs. Here's how. Prefabs can be used within a single scene and across multiple different scenes. We'll show you how to create a prefab, insert a prefab, edit a prefab, and duplicate a prefab. Before you start, we will need to open a room in your Owlbear Rodeo account, and you will need to install and enable the prefabs extension in that room. Let's start with creating a prefab. This allows you to select multiple assets in a scene and save them together as a single prefab in your Asset Manager. The prefabs extension works with all types of asset within your scene. First, simply select multiple items. You can do this by holding the Shift key and clicking each asset one at a time. Next, right-click the mouse to show the Create Prefab option. Alternatively, you can use one of the multi-select tools to select all your assets in one go. When you click on Create Prefab, you can type a name for it and press Enter. Browse to the folder where you want to store this newly created prefab and click Upload Scenes. When you browse to that folder in the Asset Dock, you'll see the Prefabs icon appear, and if you hover over it, you'll see the name of the newly created prefab. Next, let's insert an existing prefab. Find an unoccupied space within your scene and right-click to bring up the Insert Prefab option. Browse within your scene storage to find the prefab you want and select it. You'll see the prefab appear in the position that you originally clicked. Now, let's look at how to edit a prefab. A prefab can be edited like any scene. Find your prefab in the scene storage and drop it into the room. When the prefab is loaded, you may need to zoom out to see its full contents. Now you can add, remove, or alter any item in the prefab. For example, you might wish to add more character tokens, or add an attachment token and change its settings. Just like any other scene, this data is constantly being saved. When you're finished, you can open the Asset Manager and close your prefab to return to an empty room. Finally, let's look at how to duplicate a prefab and how to delete a prefab you no longer need. Open up the Asset Manager on the Scenes tab, select the prefab that you want to duplicate, and instead of opening it, use the three-dot button in the lower right corner to select Duplicate. You'll see a copy of the original prefab appear in the scene storage. And if you edit it, you can see that its name is appended with the word Copy. You can rename this duplicate, and then you can save it. If you want to delete a prefab, select the three-dot button again, choose Delete, and then confirm that you want to delete this prefab. To learn more about Albert Rodeo, subscribe on YouTube, or click on another video to keep watching.